The ocean attracts us, but at the same time, it also scares us. It's deep and immense, and its depths are home to creatures capable of causing us many problems, and even killing a person. The chances of this happening, however, are quite small, but there are places in the ocean where regular tights can literally save lives. The north coast of Australia, or Queensland, is a true tropical paradise. Warm weather, palm trees, sunshine, and magnificent beaches. It would seem to be a perfect place to relax, sunbathe, and swim as much as one wants. However, back in the late 19th century, scientists began to suspect that something was off there. The problem was that while swimming in those wonderful ocean waves, many people, especially children, died a strange and mysterious death. The doctors could only shrug. Sudden cardiac arrest. Local swimmers and divers told a different story, though. Sometimes a person would be swimming and suddenly feel terrible, incomparable to anything else kind of pain, as if a red-hot piece of iron was being pressed against their skin. Those who felt this pain couldn't catch their breath, their heart was beating insanely fast. Only the healthy, adult swimmers could endure it. Pain, nausea, vomiting, and other symptoms lasted for several days. People living in the tropics are well aware of the many dangers awaiting them in the water. Predatory and poisonous fish, sea snakes, and jellyfish found off the coast of Queensland have all been thoroughly studied before and have not been seen in the vicinity of the victim in any of the attacks or death cases in the water. The sudden pain came as if from nowhere. The victims insisted that the water around them was clean and clear. Locals had a legend of an invisible killer named the Sea Wasp living in the ocean. While the indigenous Irukandji people of Australia believed that it was a terrible demon that could cause unimaginable pain and even death. But the scientists did not believe any of these tales. We studied all marine animals in the area and didn't find a venom this strong in any of them, they said. In some cases, strange red marks were found on the bodies of the injured swimmers, but they weren't common at all. Such marks usually result from an encounter with a large poisonous jellyfish, but the swimmers again insisted that the water around them was completely clean and clear, no jellyfish whatsoever. The calm and warm ocean waters of the Queensland beaches were hiding mortal danger, the nature of which remained a mystery. The mystery was solved in the height of summer in January 1955, when disaster struck one of the local beaches yet again. A five-year-old boy had died. The child was playing in the shallow water when suddenly, without making a sound, he collapsed into the water. The parents ran up to him in horror only to find that he was already dead. The local biologist, Dr. Hugo Flecker, immediately ordered local lifeguards to cordon off the child's place of death with nets and then simply collect all the living creatures from the area. All the seaweed, fish, jellyfish, and shrimp. Dr. Flecker's catch included marine plants, shrimp, small fish, and several non-dangerous jellyfish. At the end of the study, when the biologist was losing all hope to find anything, he came across a small and completely transparent jellyfish that he had never seen before. He realized that the sea wasp, the Irukandji demon, was finally discovered. On the table in front of him was a specimen that clearly belonged to the box jellyfish class, Cubozoa in Latin. The bodies of these jellyfish are not round, but rather have a cubic shape with a bunch of tentacles hanging from each of the lower corners. This jellyfish was quite large, but completely transparent. So much so that seeing it in an aquarium was only possible under the UV lights. Seeing this jellyfish in the water while swimming is simply impossible. The killer was indeed invisible. The scientists have found stinging cells, nematocysts, containing the deadliest venom on our planet. The new type of jellyfish was named Hironex, meaning the hand of death in Greek. Venom from just one Hironex is a strong biological cocktail capable of killing 60 adult men. The lethal dose of Hironex venom is 0 0.04 milligrams per one kilogram of body weight. Even an accidental touch of the sea wasp tentacles causes excruciating pain in the whole body paralysis of the lungs and stops the heart, only the healthiest adults have at least some chance of surviving, while kids die almost instantly. The chemical analysis showed that the Hironex venom is extremely complex in composition. It contains tetramine, which paralyzes the nerve endings, thalassin, 
which affects the blood vessels and the heart, congestin, which causes an allergic reaction and deactivates the lungs, and hypnotoxin, which kills the nervous system. Even if the venom does not kill immediately, the person is still doomed, since the disabled nerves won't let them fight for their life. Having one of the deadliest venoms inside it, Hironex is an incredible animal. For example, its mouth appendages, hanging from the transparent bell, have 24 eyes, which provides the jellyfish with information about its surroundings. Scientists are still arguing about how the animal analyzes this information, since despite having eyes, it doesn't have a brain or even large nerve nodes. Nonetheless, Hironex has good vision and can even perceive colors. It can't see the color white, but can see black perfectly well and tries to get away from red. The scientists got an idea to put red nets around the swimming areas. But what does it have to do with tights? Studies have shown that Hironex tentacles don't sting just any contact with an object. The tentacles have analyzer cells, which sort of tell the jellyfish what exactly its deadly tentacles are touching. A living organism, potential food that is, or an inanimate object. If the analyzer signal that the object is a live one, nematocysts immediately release venom. If the object is of no interest, the nematocysts don't react in any way. Australian divers, lifeguards, and just regular swimmers immediately realize how to use this information to create protection against Hironex. When the tentacles touch the nylon fabric, they recognize it as inanimate, and the jellyfish does not release its deadly venom. That's why Australian lifeguards put on two pairs of tights before going into the water, one on their legs and the other one making an opening for the head on their hands and upper body. Several Australian companies have started to produce special wear, the so-called stinger suits. They're basically the same as tights, only worn over the whole body, including a hood for the head. Stinger suits, however, are quite expensive. They cost about $100, while regular tights go for less than $10. So the tights end up being used for protection against the sea wasp way more often. But the question arises, why didn't the tentacles of this horrific animal leave any marks on the body in most cases? This question was also answered by the biologist studies. In a calm state, the Hironex tentacles are short, about 15 centimeters in length. But if the jellyfish is hungry and is out to hunt, they stretch out for over three meters. If the swimmer came across the tentacles of a hunting jellyfish, they ended up having those long red marks. But if the swimmer touched the jellyfish in a calm state, they only got a tiny spot on their body, smaller than a mosquito bite. It was enough to kill a person, however. Where else can such a dangerous jellyfish be found, you might ask? Hironex are found in the Pacific Ocean on the north coast of Australia, around New Guinea and the Philippine Islands, where they pose a serious threat. In the last 100 years, the box jellyfish are believed to have caused about 100 deaths. When swimming in the Far East, one can encounter a small but rather dangerous and venomous jellyfish, Gonionemis vertens, or the clinging jellyfish. The diameter of its bell is about 25 to 40 millimeters. A cross-shaped pattern formed by the colored internal organs is visible inside the transparent body. About 60 thin tentacles with thickenings carrying clusters of stinging cells are located along the edges of the bell. The length of the tentacles varies and exceeds the diameter of the bell when fully extended. A sting of the clinging jellyfish is not deadly on its own but it causes severe pain and an allergic reaction, so the swimmer can simply drown after an encounter with this kind of jellyfish. These jellyfish keep to the thickets of seagrass. By the way, keep in mind that tights, or a special stinger suit, also help upon encounter with these jellyfish. So, as much as we'd like to carelessly splash in the water, we shouldn't forget about the possibility of the hidden dangers. Jellyfish are often pretty, but they sting mercilessly. Even though they mostly consist of water, stinging cells of many of them contain venom, which is released into the victim faster than a bullet. I wonder, would you keep going for a swim if people were suddenly dying at the beach? If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.